Hey there, my math interested friend. Cool thumbnail, huh? It was a clickbait. I'm going to talk about the fundamental theorem of algebra. <laughs> Just kidding. My professor actually said that. We will get to that in a second. Just let me read the channel promotion. <clears throat> Hi, I'm ProfPilot, I make videos about math and science, it would really help me if you hit the like and subscribe button, blah blah blah, there's a gravitation series on channel, make sure you check that out and blah blah. So here's what happened. So math majors are supposed to take physics 1 in their 5th semester and somehow my number theory course which we also are supposed to take in our 5th semester was at the same time as physics 1. So I had to take it in an engineering school, which engineer students take it on their first semester. So I took the class and like any other engineering class, there were more than 100 students in the class. And I sat at the end of the class because there was no empty seat anywhere else. And this continued for the whole semester until I didn't show up to the classes anymore. The professor began to teach and you know how this class is really easy and they teach kindergarten physics basically. How F is equal to MA and E is equal to K plus U and just this kind of stuff. Weeks pass and we were using integration and derivatives in our calculations and we were facing this differential equation. DX DT equals to X. I'm quoting my professor here. You remember how we defined derivatives? It was this fraction, so dx over dt is nothing but a fraction, just multiply both sides by dt and then integrate. And in that moment I was screaming inside, because in math classes they say it for like hundreds of times that this thing is just a symbol not a fraction. So I wanted to stand up and end this misleading sentence of ignorance, but then I thought I'm at the end of the class, these people are first year engineering students and this is a physics class so why bother. Then I just let it pass. But then a few weeks later, when we were studying about the frames of references, the professor wanted to show off how wise she is and how much stuff she knows and again I quote her, in higher speed, close to the speed of light, the order of events changes. And I was like, what? Are you sure you have a doctorate in physics? Who hired you? And I didn't show up to classes anymore. But then the thought of whole dx dt popped into my head again and I thought, why is it working if it's not a fraction? So I did my curiosity thing and went to math school where we don't invent stuff up from ourselves. Um, that's literally what we do, never mind. So I asked my calculus professor and did some research. Apparently, there are some fields like differential geometry or non-standard analysis which this thing can actually be interpreted as a fraction, but given to what my professor said about relativity, I'm sure she didn't know any of this. Yeah, I'm not giving credit to you Mrs. Don't Know Physics. But here's the interpretation for what she said. Let me explain it to you, just let me fix this thing, yeah, there we go, okay. So this is what my professor was trying to solve, dx dt equal to x. So what actually happened here is we are not multiplying the dt, we are doing this. We are multiplying the 1 over x to the both sides of the equation and then we get 1 over x multiplied by dx dt equal to 1 and we integrate both sides with respect to dt. You may say, oh, dt is gonna cancel. No, not a fraction, remember? Now 1 over x t multiplied by dx dt is actually equal to the derivative of natural logarithm of x. So we can replace this and by fundamental theorem of calculus, we get the natural logarithm of x equal to t plus c. And then you can calculate what x is. Now you may say, oh, so it doesn't matter, then solve this. 